Welcome to Change Unknown. In this lesson I'm learning to count on to solve problems like 4 plus something equals 7. Well let's imagine I've got a plant outside my room and before I go to bed I notice that there are five flowers on that plant. Now when I wake up in the morning I notice that that plant has got eight flowers on it. So I want to work out how many flowers must have uh, bloomed overnight. Now I can record that like this. Five, which is the flowers that were already on the plant, plus some amount means there are eight flowers on the plant this morning. Now I can solve this problem by finding five on my number line and then counting on until I get to eight. So I have five, six, seven, eight. So you can see that I have counted one, two, three numbers. So the answer must be five plus three equals eight. Let's try another example. Um, this time I have noticed a plant which has got eight flowers on it before I go to bed and when I wake up there's twelve flowers on it. So I can record that like this. Eight plus some amount of flowers equals the twelve flowers I see on it this morning. So just like last time I can solve this question by finding eight on my number line which is the amount of flowers that were on it in the morning and then I can count on until I get to twelve. So I've got nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So that's one, two, three, four. So the answer to eight plus twelve must be four. Now let's try another example. Uh, let's imagine this plant has got seven flowers on it and when I wake up in the morning I notice there are thirteen flowers on it. So I want to work out how many uh, flowers have bloomed overnight. So I can record that like this. Seven plus some amount equals the thirteen flowers that are on the plant now. So just like in the last examples I'm going to start at seven and count on until I get to thirteen. So I will have eight 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So 7 plus 6 equals 13. Let's try another one. Um, at the start of morning tea there are 9 students in the library and at the end of morning tea there are 14. I want to work out how many more students must have gone and walked into the library. So I've got 9 plus some amount of students has led to the 14 that are there at the end of morning tea. So just like in the other examples I'm going to count on from 9 until I get to 14. So I'll have 10 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. So 9 plus 5 equals 14. Now let's try one last one with some slightly bigger numbers. Um, at our school we've got a donation box and it's got $58 in it at the start of lunch. And at the end of lunch it's got $62 in it. So I want to work out how much more money was added during our lunch break. Well I can record that like this. $58, which is what we started with, plus some amount has led to the $62 that are in it now. And just like last time I'm going to count on from 58. So I'll have 59 60, 61, and 62. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. So 58 plus 4 equals 62. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.